Bonjour tout le monde, welcome to French class. Today we are going to learn about the definite articles in French. So you want to remember that you must use an article in front of all French nouns. You may use an indefinite article like we saw last time. You may use a partitive articles that we will see later on. Or you may use a definite article that we are going to see today. Of course, it's all going to depend about context and what you want to express. So today we are seeing the definite article and in English you will use it when you want to say a the. As you notice here, in English you only have one definite article. The book, the car, the tree, the shoes. But in French, we have four, le livre, la voiture, l'arbre, les chaussures. So we want to know when to use those different um, definite articles. So you will use a le in front of a noun that is masculine and singular. Le livre, the book. You will use la in front of a noun that is Feminine and singular, la voiture, the car. You will use L apostrophe for a noun that is either masculine or feminine, but the noun needs to be singular and it needs to be in front of a noun that starts with a voyelle or an H. So, for example, here, l'arbre, the tree. If we follow the rule, it should have been le arbre because it's masculine and singular. However, because arbre starts with a voyelle, we need to drop that e and replace it by an apostrophe. L'arbre. Same thing with ami. The noun here is feminine, so it should have been la ami. But because ami starts with a voyelle, we need to drop that R and replace it by an apostrophe, l'ami. As you see, it's easier to pronounce that la ami, it's, it's more difficult. L'ami, it's simpler, it's more fluid. So same thing with a noun uh, starting with an H, should have been le homme here, but because we have an H, we will, oops, sorry, we will really drop that E and replace by an apostrophe. L'homme, and it's easier than to say le homme, l'homme. And same thing with l'hirondelle, feminine, it should have been la hirondelle because it's a feminine noun, but we are also going to drop that um, A in front of H, so it's going to be l'hirondelle. You will use le. Uh, with a noun that is feminine or masculine, but it is plural. For example, les livres, masculine, plural. You notice here, les livres is different in the pronunciation than le livre. So it is very, very important here. When you say les livres, plural, we understand it as plural. And when you say le livre, we know it is a singular noun, right? So, uh, les voitures, les voitures, or feminine noun that is plural, and les arbres, or les hirondelles, for those nouns that start with a voyelle or H, you will use les if they are plural. But you will need to do the little liaison here. Les arbres, les arbres. Les hirondelles, les hirondelles, you need that liaison. Of course, you do not pronounce eh, those final S here hein, in, the plural, in the plural. Les livres, les voitures, les arbres, les hirondelles. So when to use those definite articles? Most of the time, it's the same as in English. Every time you use the, usually, you're going to use a definite article to indicate a specific person, place, or thing. For example, uh, the book that I'm reading 
le livre que je lis. It's not any book. It's that book that I'm reading. The book. Le livre. Uh, and it is different that what is it? It's a book. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un livre. It's not, it's, it's not the book. It's a, this example is a, a book, any book. Right? So this is usually the same as in English, except here we have a category of uses here that differ uh, from English. For example, to name countries, you will use the definite article. You would say, uh, la France est un beau pays. But in English, you would say, France is a nice country. See, you also use it with languages. For example, I learn French, no article in English, but in French you will say, j'apprends, j'apprends le français. J'apprends le français. So here you will use the article. You will also use the definite article with a group of people, for example, les étudiants, les Français, les Américains, par exemple, Americans like to barbecue. Just don't say the Americans. But in French, you would say les Américains aiment faire des barbecues. You, with undefined uh, quantities, for example, you would say in English, I like chocolate. But of, in French, you would say j'aime le chocolat. So what you notice here is that in French again, and this is very important, there is always an article in front of a noun. But this article can be indefinite, partitive or definite, but there is an article in front of the noun. In English, most of the time you have an article, but sometimes you don't. But in French you always always use an article in front of a noun. So you don't you will use also a definite article in front of school subject. For example, you will say j'aime la philosophie, but in English you will say I like philosophy. So here you don't have uh, those articles in English, you will have them in French. With concepts la liberté, liberty, with emotion la jalousie Jalousie. You will also use uh, the definite article in front of a day of the week to express that an activity always takes place on that specific day. For example, je vais à la plage le samedi, and that here means I'm going to the beach on Saturdays. Every Saturday, I go to the beach. Otherwise, if, it's, if you want to say, I'm going to the beach next, um, and next Saturday or on Saturday, you will not use the definite article. Voilà, merci beaucoup. I hope it helped. À bientôt. I'll see you in the next video. Au revoir.